Hi Pisces, welcome to your October 2022 Love and Relationships reading. Thanks for joining me. My name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Pisces, I'll be doing a dual reading today. Either side can resonate as you. Now for the purpose of the, the reading, I'll be saying one side is you, one is the other person. But of course, feel free to switch that out. Uh, you know who's who in your story. And of course, if this is not your reading today, feel free to check out your other sign placements for messages that may be for you there, here on the channel. If you're cross-watching for Pisces, either side can resonate as that person. So let's take a look here, Pisces. Uh, first at your energy for the month of October for my uh, lovely Pisceans out there. Let's see what's going on for you. Happy Halloween, by the by the way, guys, I'm using some Halloween-inspired decks, actually, so I hope that you enjoy the Edgar Allan Poe Tarot, and I'll be using the Steampunk Tarot for the other person, and also some Halloween oracles as well. So let's take a look at your person of interest. Uh, let's see, for Pisces, Pisces person of interest. Let's take a look at uh, their energy for the month of October. For Pisces person of interest, please spirit. And don't forget either side can resonate as you. The other side will be your person of interest. Please take a moment to press that thumbs up button guys if you're if you enjoy these love and relationships readings that I do. Love it if you would do that. It really does help. I get my channel noticed here on YouTube. So if you wouldn't mind doing that now, that would be wonderful. Thank you guys. If you're a newcomer, welcome. Hope that you enjoy the reading. And uh, please consider subscribing at some point. Of course, special welcome to my regular viewers as well. You guys are the greatest. So let's see. Pisces, your person of interest. Let's get their energy. We'll take a look at them. Where they stand. Where they hope to stand with this in the future. How they feel about you, Pisces. We'll take a look at what's hidden, uh, strengths, challenges, what's happening in the environment, advice for this person, and the potential outcome. Let's get some oracles down. We'll start with your energy here, Pisces. Of course, this can be reversed, so bear that in mind. Let's see, Pisces. The energy of Pisces, please, for the month of October. For water sign Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Hansel and Gretel. All right. That's an interesting energy. Hansel and Gretel. Let's see. I'm going to get the, uh, the other person's energy before I go into that. Pisces person of interest. Can you show me their energy towards Pisces, please, in the month of October? Jealousy, okay. Yeah, okay. So I've got two people here. And I was wondering if this was a family member, but it's not. It, it's a friend or a lover. I feel it's someone that, uh, that you're starting a relationship with or you're in a relationship with. Uh, you may even be moving in together or have moved in together recently. And uh, there's a strong bond here. A kinship, if you will, a uh, soul tie, I feel, rather than a blood blood kin. And I've got somebody here over on the side who is uh, feeling jealousy towards these two people. Now, the connecting energy, let's look at the Halloween Oracle, guys. Let's take a look there. What connects these two, please, Spirit? What connects these people in the month of October? What is the connecting energy? Skull of Darkness, yeah. Um, yeah, it's that jealousy. It is a darker kind of energy, a lower vibrational energy. Okay, Pisces. I've got you here with the Nine of Wands in reverse. So it seems like uh, there's a strong energy around you of solidarity, lowering your guard, uh, letting yourself be loved, allowing yourself to love. So if there has been a guardedness, I get a lowering of that guard. Being able to lower your guard. 
being able to uh, to trust perhaps after a long period of time of not being able to trust so you're placing your trust in something that's what I'm getting now the other person is the king of pentacles in the reverse now it's not gender specific so it could be male or female it, it's coming up as earth energy so it could be a Virgo Taurus or Capricorn and this is someone who is I get a sense of looking on the from the outside in. Now I see this this couple here. I see this person being on the outskirts, on the outside looking in, perhaps to this home. It's a little bit of a creeper kind of energy. Uh, this this King of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, uh, whether or you know it or not, I feel like this person is. Um, very interested in what's going on with you Pisces now where you currently stand the lovers in reverse okay you may have a choice I get a choice a choice in October uh, you may not be willing yet to make the choice I don't feel that you have some of you may have already made the choice but I actually don't feel that I feel like this person is around you. You you also have another choice. Um, some of you may even have more than, than one, one or two choices. I, I get um, I get that, but that's that's only for a small amount of you. Now this person is the Knight of Swords, so they seem to be coming in. Uh, there's communication. Uh, you seem to be you seem to be with someone though. Uh, while these messages are coming in from this person uh, there's some embarrassment there is what I'm getting you're, you're, um, you're embarrassed now why are you embarrassed let's see uh, your hopes around this for the future have got the six of wands well this is being in the winner's circle this is a validation uh, so it seems like you're receiving some kind of victory, validation uh, for past events. Okay, uh, this person seems to be coming in to you, perhaps from uh, it's somebody that you know, and they're giving you some kind of validation. Okay, I don't know if it's an ex or if it's somebody here that feels like they missed an opportunity with you, Pisces. It's it's very validating. You've got a choice of lovers. Now they're, <laughs> look at that six of wands. Yeah, they seem to be kind of arrogantly rushing in here for, for their prize, for the, for the victory, for the win. They're coming in for the win. It's like they've, uh, they're running with the ball and they want to cross the finish line and, and, get their vic and do the victory lap. Now, how do you feel about them? page of wands well I feel like you actually want to run from this person um, they're coming in to you Pisces communicating with you that they, they want the, they want the victory with you but you're running from them uh, you see them as the, the devil or you see them as someone uh, to run away from okay all right uh, so there is separation here this is someone who um, you have there has been distance but you're you're you seem to be running from them i get for a lot of you you're you're embarrassed that this person's coming in because you're already with someone you mm, okay let's see how they feel about you eight of wands in reverse you may not be messaging them back i feel, i get that they're messaging you uh text messages but uh but you're not um you're not texting them back so if they if they reach out to you with the hi how's it going or what's up or something like that I get you being a little bit embarrassed um, a little bit cringy and not responding I get you ignoring this person uh, but it is validating having this person contact you is validating okay now what's hidden here is justice yeah it's that feeling of it's that validation that I'm picking up around you this feeling of yeah I knew that they liked me or I knew it I knew it I knew yeah they keep contacting me 
I don't think you're interested in them, but you do like them contacting you because it, it may make you feel yeah, validated in some way. Perhaps this person did something in the past that made you feel bad about yourself and them coming rushing in here with uh, with the messages is is validating you making you feel good you feel like it's justice uh, you feel like this person is getting their karma I'm also getting that and that's validating and yeah the five of pentacles they, they seem to be getting their karma uh, whatever this person has done, they, they may have uh, chosen someone else over you in the past. Whatever they did, it seems like they are in some kind of karmic situation at the moment where they're feeling lost, feeling alone. Um, they feel like they've, they've been punished for, for some kind of action that they've taken or non-action that they... not non-action in the past and they feel jealous of you here Pisces possibly um, because of your situation they feel envy towards towards you and your situation now the strength here is the chariot in reverse that's that changing course energy yeah this person's changing course changing course okay this person may have run away from you in the past um, maybe put you in the friend zone uh, rejected you uh, said that they possibly were seeing other people whatever it was I get them coming back here they want to change course whatever course that they were on in the past they want to reverse and and I feel that now they want a partnership now they want a now they want a relationship but you seem to be embarrassed that this person's coming in now because I feel that a lot of you are with someone you, you have someone already um, yeah that's some of you may even be planning to marry or some of you may even be married when this person's coming in ace of cups in reverse yeah it seems like this person now has unrequited love towards you uh, Pisces uh, whether you know how much this person's into you or not uh, I can tell you they're very into you they, they feel like their love is unrequited and that's making them want the victory with you uh, they do want victory with you they think about you still uh, they still want you no matter how many years have passed here and the challenge on your side Pisces is the Emperor well I feel that this yeah there's somebody around you could be an Aries doesn't have to be uh, it is a strong person so I feel like there's a strong character around you uh, someone that you're with uh, some of you as I said are, are already in a commitment with them possibly even marriage or planning on marriage with this Emperor so you know, this person coming in although it it feels quite validating uh, you're also a bit embarrassed for I think you're more embarrassed for them rather than embarrassed that it's happening uh, you're more embarrassed for them for them yes and the challenge over here Queen of Swords in verse well yeah I think that you've that's you guys I feel like you've previously turned your back on this person um, for some of you, you even rejected this person in the past and that's just made them e want you even more, you know, it's that wanting what they can't have kind of energy. Uh, there's obviously been a lack of communication, uh, you may have blocked this person. They still keep trying to send you messages though, you know, reaching out to you. Uh, is there a possibility? Can I, can I come back? You know, can I still be with you? Um, they may even profess their love here, which is very, it is very validating, but um, I don't feel that you, you want this person now in your environment we've got the Queen of Wands okay so I feel that that's that's the that I feel like this is you with with this person 
It's very strong fire element, so it, it may be a fire sign around you. And I feel that you, you, you kind of, you're in a really good position here. You seem to be happy with, with, with your life, with, where you're at. Um, this seems to have been a mistake, uh, something that you wished you hadn't gotten involved with here. Um, okay. In their environment, we've got the King of Swords in the reverse. Okay. Mm. This seems to be... I'm not picking it up as anyone around you. I feel that it's someone that's around them. Uh, these people are friends. I feel like this King of Pentacles and this King of Swords... It doesn't matter the gender, guys, but I feel that these, these two are friends. I get friends here. Now, I feel like this person, they, they want to come in, but the problem is I feel like they, they're going to say something to you like, oh, I was told the wrong thing, or I was, I was told a bunch of lies, or somebody advised them wrongly. That's that's kind of the excuse they're going to give. I don't feel that they're going to take ownership of the choices that they've made in the past. Um, for some of you, this person did go off and be with somebody else, um, rejected you, chose somebody else, but they're going to say it was somebody else's fault. Oh, I did it because of that person. I did it. My friend told me that that I shouldn't, that I should do this, or my friend said that person's really into you. You should go for that. Something like that. That's that's what I'm picking up here. But they're not whoever they went towards. I don't feel they were in love with. Guys, let's see. Your advice here, Pisces, is the Three of Swords in reverse. Well, I think that you've already gone down the road of healing. Whatever happened between you and this person, I even feel like you've blocked them on social media don't feel like this person uh, they're going to find it difficult to get to you but I feel that they want to but the problem is for this person or two uh, number one I feel that you've already healed from this situation so you, you're thinking well why would I bother going back with that person when I'm what I've healed from that from whatever they did there some something that did hurt you uh, then there may have been a third party involved why should I go and entertain that again when I'm doing pretty well and I've got somebody around me who is making me happy this emperor and it's it's saying though that you haven't yet really I feel like this person does still have a chance because I don't feel like you have made a concrete decision about who you want to be with um, yeah, let, let's see what their advice is. Four of Wands. Yeah. I feel like that now they want a partnership. It may be because they see you with somebody else. Uh, they didn't want a partnership until suddenly they see you with somebody else and go, oh, hang on a minute. No, no, that's, that's my person. And they seem to want to drag you back in here. They want to drag you back into this. But you've already healed from this. I even feel like you've got other choices. So it's up to you guys, of course, but um, I don't know. I feel that this person is just is really just fearing being alone. Uh, there's jealousy associated with, and envy associated with you, and you having other choices. But the thing is, I think that you've gotten away from this person in the past. Uh, you made your escape. They did something that was hurtful. There was a. There may have been a third party involved. So why would you go back to that Pisces? That's that's what I'm feeling. I even feel like a lot of you have somebody else around you. So we'll have to see where this goes. And in the extended reading, I'm going to be pulling over the outcome cards, going much further in detail. It'll be about a 30-minute reading. I'll be clarifying. So if you'd like to join me there, this is your story. The link is down below in the descriptions box. 
Before I go though, I will pull a card from the Oracle of Visions. If you'd prefer a personal reading, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store, Gypsy Insights Tarot, and purchase directly. The link is in the box below. And I'm doing Skype readings now, as well as the pre-recorded uh, videos as well. So if that's something you're interested in, uh, please check it out. Uh, Pisces, let's see what the message is for you. And uh, the situation with Pisces and this person. Okay. This is card number 28. The energy that I'm picking up around this is this person's reaching out to you. They're making contact. They want to reach out. They want to make contact. Now, whether or not they can <laughs> is another story because I, I think that you actually feel like you've blocked this person. You'll see this, this, this man now. Of course, it's not gender specific, but in, in this particular picture, it's a man standing in a contemplative mood he has this mask which is sitting on this table and uh, the flame beside the mask reminds us that all that we see in this earthly realm is no more than a mask now in his right hand he holds a bell jar that contains the face of a woman a love from the past she is reaching out to him with much love and tenderness. In his left hand he holds two batons indicating the duality of human nature and they might also indicate that he has more than enough will to move forward in his life. So this person basically needs to move on. <laughs> it's telling me that he needs to move on from uh, from from the past. Yeah. Uh, this is an energy here of, well, it, it feels a little bit like the fool to me. It feels like closure. It feels like closing out a cycle in this person's life, moving on from a past love, a past situation, and stepping into the new. And I feel that that's what you've done here, Pisces, if, if you're this, this energy over here on this side. I feel that that's what you've done, stepping into the new. Uh, you have. And there's some jealousy and envy because you are someone who has been able to do that. This person hasn't. They haven't been able to do that. Now they can, they have the potential to do it. And I feel that they want to do it, but they, they still seem to be holding on here. Uh, to the past. So we'll talk about this more in the extended. I hope that you join me there. Again, the link is down below in the descriptions box. I hope uh, that you uh, join me in the extended if this is your story. Uh, if not, then I will speak to you again very soon. Please do take a moment to press that thumbs up button before you leave. Share me on your social media if you know a Pisces uh, that you think this will resonate with. And if you're a newcomer, I'd love to have you subscribe. Thank you, Pisces. I'll see you in part two, or I'll speak to you again very soon.